Pokemon Master Trainers. Do you want to learn how to evolve any Pokemon in Pokemon Masters? Stay tuned! It's showtime! It's your time, it's my time, it's our time, it's showtime, it's your time, it's my time, it's our time, it's showtime, it's your time, it's my time, it's our time, it's showtime! What's up trainers? It's your host Professor Showtime here with another educational, with another entertaining, with another enlightening episode of Pokemon Masters! Boom! Back at it like Pokemon addicts and trainers! Do I got a show for you guys, so let's get into it. Today we're discussing exactly how to evolve any Pokemon in the game. Right now, Pokemon Evolution is a thing in the game, but the game does not clearly state exactly how to do it. So that's going to be the purpose of this video. Alright, so I pre-recorded the game to the footage to the left, and I'm just showing exactly what the home screen looks like, so you guys get really comfortable and really familiar. You gotta scroll over till you go to this trainer, Trinia, or Trinia, however you guys want to pronounce it. You want to press on Trinia, and she's gonna say, welcome. For anything related to your team members, please come this way. All right, so you tap on her, and what we want to do is like, we want to level up our Pokemon. In order to level up, in order to evolve your Pokemon, they have to reach a certain level. For Snivy, we're gonna look at Snivy today. Snivy has to be a level 30 in order, in order to level up. So we click on level up, and you guys see the first book right there. The first book, I have 12 of them, the, the level up manuals. Those level up manuals are, they're one star level up manuals, they're two star level up manuals, and they're three star level up manuals. I'm gonna click on all of them in the video so you guys can see. Basically, the two star and three star level up manuals level up your your your, your sync pairs much more faster, much more effectively. But for this, we're gonna use the one star level up manuals, and you just have to get Snivy to level 30. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. In case you guys, Snivy is Snivy and Rosa are not level 30. I'll take it to level 31, to level 32, and I'm going up and up and up, and I'm basically gonna gonna basically gonna use all of my 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 books all of my manuals i'm going to use all of them just for the purpose of youtube this account i'm using right here is a dummy account i'm actually playing this game on two phones i'm grinding one for myself and i'm using one just for youtube so i don't so i don't like get ahead of you guys i will be covering this game in detail so stay tuned for that it's going to say do you want to confirm the level up so you're going to level up and once you reach level 30 you're going to be able to do this with snivy but we're going to make this make Snivy a little bit more tough because at level 30 it's pretty difficult to beat uh, so I'll take it up to about level 34 for novice players for new players for players without that much experience I recommend taking Snivy all the way up to level 34 in order to evolve so once you re get Snivy to around level 34 you're gonna be all set and all prepared to evolve but it's not that simple the game doesn't make it that simple so I'm gonna back out of here but first, yep, we're gonna back out, and uh, we're not gonna look at any. Well, let's look at the moves. We're gonna look at the moves, and I want to show you guys. I just want to show you guys the moves that uh, Snivy has. Snivy is probably the best support in the game by far. She has it has Energy Ball, but what you really want to look at is a move called Time to Energize. X Special Attack All. That's great as well. The Time to Energize is, is the best move that Snivy has. I didn't click on it like I wanted to, but it's time to energize at this point. It raises the Pokemon's, it, ra it raises the sync pair. Well, it raises all of your move gauges by two, right? Just by two. But once you evolve Snivy into Servine, it's gonna raise it all the way. It's gonna ra raise it three points, either three or four points. It's gonna raise it more. But that's why you wanna evolve Snivy is because you wanna be able to get that time to energize off and it, let it be more effective. But the next thing you gotta do is you gotta scroll over and click on Trisha. Now just guys, just pay attention to the video because you gotta click on Trisha. You're gonna go to Trisha and she's gonna ask you, what do you wanna do? And we wanna exchange items. You're gonna go down to exchange item, yeah, items. You don't wanna sync pair scout. You don't wanna purchase gems. You wanna exchange items. This is gonna help you evolve, guys. You have to go through these steps in order to evolve. You're gonna click on exchange items um sync pair scout as you guys know that's going to be the um actually pull summon more sync pairs but you're going to look at the first one the first one says exchange five 
you're gonna get an evolution shard right you gotta purchase the evolution shard in order to evolve you have to purchase evolution shard 1000 gold is gonna give you five evolution shards and those evolution shards can be used for any Pokemon that can evolve so we just we just purchased it if you guys are paying attention we now have 462 gold now we're gonna exit out and now we're almost ready to evolve the game has it in a in a lot of steps to evolve it's not just battling to evolve you got to do a few things in order to get the gold you just battle anybody to get gold it's not hard to get gold at all you get gold naturally um next video i'll tell you guys exactly the easiest way to get gold in the game i'm just going from side to side so you guys get accustomed to what's going on but basically we're going to click on explore we're going to click on explore i'm just going side to side so you guys are getting really familiar you guys really know you, you guys are really comfortable with this we're going to hit explore so we once we tap on explore we got to go to the, the middle one it's called sync pair stories we're gonna click on sync pair stories. We're gonna find Rosa and we're gonna click on Rosa. We're gonna press on Rosa. Once you click, press on Rosa, the Snivy's evolution is gonna pop up. We're gonna click on Snivy's evolution. If Snivy's evolution is not there, first you have to complete a day in the life of Rosa. This is a one on one bot battle and this battle is typically hard. You have to use a shard evolution in order to, com to complete this. We have five evolution, I mean five shard evolutions. Um, don't worry about losing the battle because if you lose the battle you don't lose the shard evolution so don't worry about losing the battle so are you sure yes so now it's time to fight it's time to fight like i said try to level up your snivy to level 34 is what i'm recommending and if you go to level 34 you are gonna you're gonna barely win but you can win all right so mwah, tis i bryson man i have waited an eternity for this day to come Snivy girl, huh? Who are you? Wait, is that you, Bryson? Hmm, you wish to do some intensive training with your Snivy? Well then, I shall oblige. Well, what's going on? It's like you're totally becoming the, the character that you play in the movie. I knew this day would come. I procured this Zorark for that very purpose. Ooh, I love Zorark. Zorark is a, a dark Pokemon. Now, bring it! My gosh, all right, here we go, guys. We're ready for battle now. We are ready for battle. So, the first thing that you should do is your, your um, X special attack. But what I like to do all the time is to see what's the difference between my X special attack and the normal attack. But normally, I use my normal attack to see how much damage I can do. Then I use my X special attack, and then I do my normal attack again, just to see the difference with the, with the range. So I started off with the energy ball, just to see how much damage I did. We did 41 damage. He's gonna do a snarl. I'm gonna then click on the X special attack just to um get 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 my damage up. And now I'm gonna click the energy ball again just to see how much I did. I did 41 before, but he did X, he did a special defense, so it should be a a, a draw, right? Yeah, I did 37. I did even less this time. Wow. He does flamethrower. I'm gonna be really weak to that flamethrower. Uh, we went down for 19. I'm gonna go ahead and energy ball again. So. We energy ball, we hit him. He's already got his sync move up, so he's gonna blast us with a sync move. And um, I can't wait till we can talk about dodges in this game, because dodges is a thing in this game. Um, I can't wait to talk about that. But he's gonna do a dual sync move. And uh, like I said, in these early videos, we're gonna keep it very basic. All right, so he's gonna hit me. I'm gonna do a energy ball as well. Oh no, I did a special attack all, and now I did, after the snarl, I'll do the energy ball, I guess. He's gonna hit me again, so I'm going down. I'm at yellow damage. We're getting to dangerously low health. I hit him for 38. This uh, Zorak is a tank. I hit him with another energy ball. This time for 76. I hit for a critical hit. Wow. Now I got my sync move up, and I'm 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 gonna get him. I got my sync move up. Look how look look how nice the sync move is. I'll just let the animation play. Beautiful. Beautiful. These graphics are next level anime graphics. I love it. Hit him for 145. And that's it. Zorak goes down. Zorak fainted. Zorak faints. So now I've defeated Bryson. It's a victory. And now we're we're gonna it's gonna it's gonna happen, guys. It's going to happen. So now we're gonna wait for the game to load. And trainers, just to let you guys well, let's do this. Bryson, how? How'd you manage to brush me aside? Bryson, man, and my Z mighty Zorak. Bryson! You don't have to keep keep the act up anymore. You came here to battle for Snivy, and my sake. I, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. 
farewell, Snivy girl. But now, check this out. That, like, they make it nice. They don't make it just like, hey, you just evolved. Whoa, Snivy, you're about to evolve. I just felt a sudden rush of power. See, like, they really, really drum it up. They, they hype it up, and I like it. This is amazing. Promise me you always be together, even after you evolve. So Rose is really attached to her Snivy. And, uh... They make it like really, really, really hype. And I like how they drum it up. They drum up the evolutions. Like if you really want to get into the story, you can. So now we level up and they wait till until they evolve. They, they really let you get dramatic about it. You get your rewards. And now look, huh? Snipe is evolving. And now we get a nice evolution. Look how nice this is. Look how nice this is. Look at the beautiful. Snivy evolves into Servine, and Servine is really, really, really good. I like Servine because not only is Servine stronger, but the time to energize is actually even stronger on the Servine than the, than the Snivy. So, yeah guys, this is how to evolve any Pokemon. Those evolution shards are compatible with any Pokemon. You know, um, it's nice that you spend a thousand gold and they give you five. So now you see this, this Snivy's evolution is complete. Yeah, so you can do the rest. You can do the same with the rest. With the rest. Right now, I'm going to the. I'm going back, and I'm gonna actually look at um at Servine's uh, time to energize. But you guys get the gist of it. Trainers, I'm Professor Showtime. I'm going to be for those of you guys who don't know me. I'm Professor Showtime. I will be covering this game just like I've covered Pokemon Duel. I'm coming to this game from Pokemon Duel. We did Pokemon Duel for over two years, and the reason that I stopped Pokemon Duel is because the game is canceling. They're canceling the game in three months, so the writing is on the wall. I'm an avid Pokemon player. Pokemon Duel is a Pokemon mobile game just like this, except in Pokemon Duel there's PvP. So if you guys want more tips, we're going to be doing in-depth tips for this game. We're going to start off slow. And the way the whale gang works is that um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to teach you guys early, and try to get you guys on pace. And then, but by the end of it, you guys will be teaching me. So we're all gonna be on the same level, teaching each other. We're gonna learn a lot about this game. We're gonna cover this game in details. So trainers, if you want to catch big fish, you gotta go where the water is deep. And Pokemon Masters is not just a game; it's a serious game. This is Showtime, signing off, peace trainers, make sure you click that bell notification so you get an alert the next time we live stream, peace, and all my Pokemon Duel fans, we will be live streaming Pokemon Duel really really soon, later trainers.